Hey there, my name is Shafir Yunus and in this video we are going to continue working on data binding. In this video we are going to see how to integrate view models or live data with data binding. That way data binding can observe the view models and the live data object so it can change dynamically and in real time. So in order to illustrate this process we'll have to work on some example we'll basically we will use always the person example we will be changing this person in real time and see if it is if the layout will change automatically or not okay so the first thing we want to create a data binding we want to create the view model okay so go here create view model android right so basically you have to extend just a class here it is you have to extend the class right then you can use it directly like that using dependency injection so we will illustrate this process let's go let's create a new kotlin class call it well person view model right so this view model need to extend view model nice now we want to observe some field okay so let's create live data val live let's call it person live data which will be equal which will be a live data of a person okay and this live data will come from another mutable live data okay so this is a pattern person yeah live data like that you will create another private val this one and it will be a mutable live data okay it will equal to mutable live data of course let's create it and here let's put it off a person okay so this person live data is a mutable live data we can't change its value and we need this one to observe it okay so first of all there will be a person named this is the initial value I mean person named person one age will be let's say 15 and we want we want to see the image changing we want to see just the basically the age and the name let's do that okay and we want to use its, its constructor so first let's do that just let's do that in the first example okay so let's go here to the activity main this time we want to receive a person object okay we want to receive the whole view model you can type just here view model and here the type of the view model you want to use let's call it person view model here it is now there will be some errors here of course you need to change them so person doesn't become person it become view model dot person live data dot name okay directly like that you can basically copy that everywhere and finally here okay so now we need to combine this view model or we need to bind this view model with the activity let's go to the activity there is no such person now we need the view model now binding dot view model equal a view model Okay, so in order to get view model, you can do the following private val view model. It will be a person view model, yeah, like that by view models. Okay, this is called dependency injection, I think. Yeah, it's dependency injection. It's provided with the KTX library by Android team view model. Okay, another extra thing you have to do is to specify the life cycle owner and put it like this yeah you have to assign it to the activity which is the life cycle owner okay we need that to observe the live data now if you run the application we we'll see no difference basically no we will see that there is a person one and the age this two will be different i think nice it is working correctly now let's simulate that the person is changing for some reason okay now this view model will hold your repository and your data sources so it will be, it will be more complex than that 
we want to do something like the following we want to init this is the constructor the init block of the view model basically we want to lash a curtain lash it here because i want to do suspension work on the dispatchers io these things are related to curtains we will do future lessons about them okay so what we want to do here is just to delay okay we want to delay with three seconds this is basically the same as thread.sleep but thread.sleep sleep the whole thread and this will sleep only the current curity okay so after each delay we want to change this one okay so let's say it will be person two with the age of 35 then it will become person five with the age of 60 and we also want to do a delay here with 2000 okay let's do it one more time to 100 and to another two seconds okay now this new person need to be assigned to the person life data okay so we need to do that it like the follow person dot post value we need to post the value because because post will work on the thread on the main thread okay and this is a background thread that's run the pool of io dispatchers io okay so change that here and here and put like that hopefully we will see a lot of things working okay let's go so basically the, the first time it will display person one with 15 then person two with 35 then person five with 60 and finally person five with 1000 great it is working it is working correctly if we delete this line let's say we want we will delete this line let's say you forget about this line if you run the app again it won't work it won't update okay as you can see it passed three seconds and it's the same that's because there is no lifecycle owner specified to the binding layout okay so you always you have to remember this line okay so this is the beauty of data binding and the jetpack component integration it allow you to run simple code to synchronize between layout and everything if we didn't use this one we'll have to do a listener on each value of person life of the person life data and then whenever it change we will have to write the code set view or set text or set image okay basically the image always work let's try to replace it to see if it is working or not let's try to add another job or resource let's try add something like that microwave yes let's add microwave okay so it will be mood then microwave then microwave then mood okay let's run it to see if it is working person one microwave microwave and person okay so i hope you learned something from this video there is a lot going for view models and the, and the coroutines and live data but we want to show only the aspect of changing data in real time and how it affects the data binding data binding will always observe your value while it is possible okay thank you very much for watching this video if you learned something please subscribe to the channel and leave a like thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video